Season Pass, sponsored by Kelly Grimsley Kia. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Season Pass. Thanks for staying up late with me. I'm your host, Ryan Reynolds. I'm here to guide you through another week of Concho Valley sports. And what a week it was. We have highlights from week five of the high school football season. As always, we also have highlights from the high school volleyball court. We'll recap the week that was for Angelo State Athletics. And then we'll close out the show with our player of the week, as well as highlights from the NFL. So let's get right to it. Starting with the Central Bobcats, it was homecoming week for Central. The Bobcats opened District 3-6A play with the undefeated Weatherford Kangaroos looking to avenge last season's 26-24 loss to the Bobcats. So we head out to San Angelo Stadium for Game 1 in District 3-6A. First quarter, Malachi Brown floats it up to Joseph for the touchdown. Central goes up 7-0 early. The Bobcats strike first on this beautiful Friday night. Next Bobcat possession, Malachi Brown again. This time floats it to Christian Gabaldon for another touchdown. Bobcats lead 14-3. And then in the second quarter now, Bobcats offense, they're going to keep their foot on the gas. Malachi Brown forced out of the pocket, gets to the pylon. He outruns all the kangaroos. Central leads 21-3, but don't let that score fool you folks. Malachi Brown had a game in this one. Definitely watch out for him. Still not done in the first half. Brown, he's going to toss a little screen pass over to Tanner Dabbert. He's going to fight off a face mask. Take a look at this and dive into the end zone. Central led 31-10 at the half. Weatherford was stormed back with 21 unanswered points in the second half, but Central would score with nine seconds left to take this thing. Bobcats open district play with a win. They take it 45-38 the final. Big Spring playing host to number four wall on Friday. Chase Rios takes the handoff, takes it to the right, makes a couple nice moves, and makes a cut back into the middle for the nice game. Later in the drive, Mason Fuchs drops back and finds Grady McRae down the middle, and what a catch. Wall keeps on moving. Wall still driving. Fuchs finds Lex Dusix, and he falls into the end zone. A touchdown for the Hawks. Plenty more where that came from. Wall would take this one 40 to 0. They improved to 5 and 0. They'll be off this week, and in two weeks they'll open up district play at home against Clyde. Bearcat Stadium ready to go for the 3A District 4 opener. First quarter after a blocked punt by the Lobos. Stanley Callahan gets the pitch. He won't go down. Drives for the end zone. Cisco, they lead Ballinger 6-0 after the missed extra point. But the Bearcats would answer. Edgar Nunez hands the ball off to Cooper. Bean, no one's going to catch him. Game tied at 6 after a failed two-point conversion. And these two teams went back and forth. Later in the first quarter, Gibson Hearn with the QB keeper down the sideline. He's going to be gone. Cisco, they lead 13 to 6. And the Lobos, they take the early lead on the road. And this one could very well decide the district champion. Second quarter, Nunez rolls out to his right, heaves it up, and finds Garrett Dixon inside the 10 yard line. That leads to a Bearcats field goal 13 to 9 going into halftime. And Cisco would go on to win this district 4 3 A showdown. They top Ballinger 26 to 9. Brady hosting Jim Ned on Friday out in good old Brady. And this is a tough Indians team. First quarter, Xavier Wishart fumbles the ball, recovered by Gonzalo Morales. He's off, and he finds himself in the end zone. A touchdown gives Brady an early 7-0 lead. Still in the first quarter, and the Indians would respond. Wishart makes up for that lost fumble. He shakes and bakes his way in for six. That ties the game at seven all. Indians, they're in the red zone now. Fourth down, actually. Take a look at this. Dylan Martin. Trying to give the Indians the lead, but it's picked off by Benjamin Galindo. 7-7 seven to seven was the score going into halftime. But Jim Ned comes out on top in a second-half shootout. The Indians take it 40-23. to 23. Miles hosting Monday. The Bulldogs trying to improve to 5-0 for the first time since 1989. First quarter, no score. Bulldogs driving. Davian Martinez hands it off to Braden Dunlap. Tosses it to London, Landon Book for the reverse. He takes up off. He takes up down the sidelines for the first down and then some later in the drive Dunlap takes a handoff and goodbye to the house for six extra point would be no good six to zero miles they get the early jump on Monday trying to stay perfect and go five and oh second quarter now same score Martinez we mentioned him a lot on this show he passes to his left to Jose Mata wide open space in Pater touchdown Bulldogs the PAT would be blocked 12 to zero miles and they accomplish the feat Miles wins 53 to 41 and improves to 5 and 0 for the first time since 1989. 
Taking a look at some other scores from around the Concho Valley. The Lakeview Chiefs started 3-0, and now they've lost their second consecutive game, this one to the Yellow Jackets. They took on Brownfield next Friday. The Punchers bounced back from their loss to Jim Ned last week. They downed Comanche 28-7. Mason is off this week, but will take on Bracket on October 11th. Cristoval. They stay undefeated. They down winters 34-24. The Cougars will host Roscoe this week, kick off Friday at 7.30 p.m. The Sonora Broncos fall to 2-3 and three on the season after losing to Burnett 54-28. to Sonora is off this week, but will face Blanco on October 11th. And then the shutouts continue for Ozona. The Lions defeat Junction 61-0. Ozona hasn't allowed a point since week one against Sonora. The Lions improve to 5-1, and one, while Junction falls to 2-3. and three. And then TLCA. They fall to Merkel 41 to 6. Almost the regular season for high school football. Man, that's flown by coming up on season pass. We have some more highlights from around the gridiron. Don't go anywhere. Season pass will be right back. Prices are still falling at Ashley Home Store. Fall sale is here. Get a free matching chest, free matching chair, or matching recliner for 50% off. Plus up to 60 months, zero interest financing. Free chest, free chair, 50% off recliner at your Ashley Home Store. The rule of three states, things that come in threes are inherently more appealing. We couldn't agree more. Three SUVs, one GMC. Get nearly 6,100 below MSRP on this 2019 GMC Terrain Denali. Plus, get over 1,300 additional purchase allowance when you finance through GM Financial. Visit Mitchell Buick GMC in San Angelo. Hi, I'm Dr. Victor Schulze with North Bentwood Veterinary Hospital and Boarding. We are a family-run business located in the Bentwood area. We are always happy to give a tour of our facility. You can reach us on our Facebook page or give us a call. Hi, I'm Mike. MGB wants to be your MVP, most valuable payer. Bring your gold, silver, and diamonds to MGB, and you'll say... I sold gold, and I like Mike. On Avenue Inn by Angelo State. Whether it's time to get to work or to your weekend, make sure it's all quality time. Get to Nissan Truck Month and save big on a J.D. Power award-winning truck, including Titan, best in quality, and Frontier, best in dependability. Both with the tech you want and the quality you need. Hurry in to Nissan Truck Month today. Get 0% financing for 72 months plus cash back and the Midnight Edition package at no extra charge. Prices are still falling at Ashley Home Store. Fall sale is here. Get a free matching chest, free matching chair, or matching recliner for 50% off. Plus up to 60 months, zero interest financing. Free chest, free chair, 50% off recliner at your Ashley Home Store. Welcome back to Season Pass. The Cover Rubias brothers out in El Dorado have taken the high school football scene by storm over the past few years, and they're looking to make 2019 something special. The Eagles were 3-1 and one entering Friday's game against McCamey, looking for that fourth win in five weeks. The El Dorado Eagles taking on McCamey first quarter, and it doesn't get much easier than this. Eric Reyes seals the edge, and Elias Luna takes it wide and strides in for six. El Dorado up 14-0 after the made PAT. Ensuing drive for the Badgers. Nano Rodriguez takes the handoff, finds a hole, and he's off to the races. Well, that's until his own man brings him down. A come on, man moment from McCamey leads to a punt. But the Badgers, they, they get on the board in the second quarter. Ivan Rubio on fourth down heaves this ball into the end zone, and it's hauled in by Rodriguez. That brings the score to 14-7 after the made kick. And El Dorado takes the cake. They win 62-32. Erie County hosting very best in six-man action. Second quarter, very best. Sets up for a field goal, but they're going to fake it. Look at that. Tricky. Connor Barnes fires it deep to Joshua Boland for the touchdown. We are tied at eight. Erie County, though, looking to respond. Chase Contreras takes the handoff. He's going to sprint down the sideline for the touchdown. No one's going to get him. Hornets regain the lead. This one was back and forth. Here we go. Very best with the pitch, and he bulldozes his way for the Falcon touchdown. But Erie and County would take control in the second half. The Hornets win big, 70-24. to 
Sterling City hosting Bront. Second quarter, Eagles up 38 to 0. A bad snap by Sterling City, but they recover. Hudson Cox throws to the end zone and finds Chance Ferguson, who makes just an incredible catch for the touchdown. Kickoff or kick, no good. 44 0 Eagles lead. Later in the quarter, Cass Johnson throws a deep ball to Tristan Himes, makes the catch, and goes into the end zone for another Eagle touchdown. Gives them a 50 to 0 lead. Number seven, Sterling City on their way to another Mercy Rule victory. They've shown nothing but dominance through five games this season. And how about another one? Will Cisco taking it in for the score. The Eagles extend their lead 56 to 0. They go on to win 64 to 0. Water Valley trying to play spoiler on Friday against Eden. Homecoming for the Bulldogs. First quarter, Water Valley trailing by eight. Harley Davis gets the catch, and here he goes with the athletic move. I certainly wouldn't be able to do that. Kudos to Davis. That's a first down a little later in the drive. Start of the second quarter, and the Wildcats cough it up. Eden recovers a turnover for Water Valley. The Wildcats hold and get the ball back. Check out this dancing here by Gabriel Smith. He takes off to the corner for the score. Eden still leads by two. Water Valley, though, trying to take the lead on their next drive, but the defense comes up strong for Eden. Caleb Tenney in the right place at the right time. He gets the stop to prevent an Eden touchdown, but later in the first half, they would make up for it. Check out this nifty move by the sophomore. That's going to be good for six. Eden again leads by eight, and the Bulldogs secure the win on homecoming. They protect home turf and take it 52 to 22. And to round out the Concho Valley scores, Great Creek falls to Coleman 49-9. The Eagles will battle Bangs this Friday at 7.30. Harper squeaks by Menard, a one-point victory for Harper, 28-7 the final. They're an exciting finish. And then to some six-man action, Highland downs Robert Lee 64-22. The Steers fall to 2-2 two two on the season. They'll host Grady on Friday. Number 7, Blackwell shuts out Hermley 46-0, the final in that one. Blackwell will take on very best this week. And Paint Rock, the Indians, can't string together two wins in a row. They lose to Brooksmith 66-16. Paint Rock will travel to Water Valley this week to take on the Wildcats. Kick off for that one, set for 7.30 p.m. And how about a feel-good story before we wrap up week five of the high school football season? The Friday night lights were shining bright for one high school senior with special needs. P.J. Allred plays for the Smith Cotton Tigers in Missouri, and he also has cerebral palsy. His coach put him in at quarterback at the end of the game, where Hickman High was up 40-0 to zero as the last few seconds of the game ticked away. Allred ran the ball 80 yards in for a touchdown. That gave the team six points to prevent a shutout, but the opposing team's coach says the moment transcends winning and losing. To see the entire sideline run and sprint, even our cheerleaders, um, at that moment as a coach, it's like, wow, this is really bigger than, than this moment exactly. Um, seeing all the different people that are impacted, the, the smiles, Smith Cotton fans, their cheerleaders, all of their players excited. Um, the, the actual win was meaningless at that point. The fact that PJ got that moment and that everyone could celebrate, that was the most important thing. Sports are more than just a game. Week five of the high school football season is in the books, which brings us to our next segment. Let's take a look at the week that was in tonight's Concho Valley Rewind. A week of football is a great week. Coming up on Season Pass, we're serving up some highlights from the high school volleyball court. Don't go to sleep. Season Pass is taking a short break. We'll be right back. This is the Chevy Silverado with the world's first invisible trailer. Invisible trailer. Hop in. Silverado offers an optional technology package with up to 15 different views, including one enhanced view that makes your trailer appear invisible. Wow. That's pretty That's sweet. Cool. Where's the trailer, though? <laughs> or get a total value of over $10,800 on this Silverado Texas Edition without optional tech package or enhanced invisible view. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. It's time to wake up breakfast at McDonald's. For early mornings, rustle up a chicken McGriddles to get going and strike it rich with a McChicken biscuit. Get two chicken breakfast sandwiches for $3 and an any size Coke for $1.
It's time to switch to DISH for better TV with SNG Satellite. We're your DISH premier local retailer. Stop in with your TV bill today. To compare, save, and experience the best TV technology at the best value. We're your one-stop shop for DISH TV, internet, and custom installs. Deal with a local business with professionals you can trust and talk to a friendly face. Visit SNG Satellite or call us at 325-944-8628. Ask about our current promotions and let us change the way you watch TV. Wish we could afford to buy new furniture. What is this? It's your breakthrough from Cons Home Plus. Cons Low Payment Finder finds the lowest payment tailored to you. Good credit or building credit. Wow. Gritty. Tough. And virtually indestructible. Toyota trucks were made to withstand anything your weekend might throw at them. Hurry into the Toyota tailgate event for a great deal on all of your favorite Toyota trucks that were built for weekend fun. During the Toyota tailgate event, qualified buyers get 0% APR financing for 72 months, plus a $2,000 special edition bonus on a new 2019 Tundra Special Edition. Toyota, let's go places. And welcome back to Season Pass. High School Volleyball continued last week. We have some highlights from three games, starting with the Central Lady Cats. Tuesday night was We Dig Our Teachers Night at Babe D Diedrichson Gym. The Lady Cats hosting Richland early in the first set. Richland shutting down Central's hitters, coming up with the block against Steely Poss. Lady Rebels up 3-0. to zero. Central up 15-14 now. Nadia Fierro with a big kill gives the Lady Cats a two-point lead. The student section is rowdy for the Lady Cats. They're loving the action. Tied at 24, Nadia Fierro going for the kill. Bounces off Linda Davis and falls into Richland territory. Central up by one. Set point now. Steely Poss with the serve. Lady Rebels knock it out of bounds. Central takes the first set 26 24, and they go on to sweep Richland 3 0. Lakeview hosting Kahoma. The Maidens won the first two sets in the third. Kahoma out to a big lead, and they add another point. They lead 21 to 11, but check this out. Things started to go the Maidens way from this point forward. Monica Escondon with the kill. It's now 21 to 12. And then she has multiple, with multiple errors by Kahoma. The Maidens went on a 10 to 0 run. And just like that, the game was tied at 21 all. Maidens now leading 23 22. They go on to sweep Kahoma 3 to 0. Water Valley taking on Sonora at home, and the first set was tight. Kinlia Fultz with the set, and Kendra Hoover with the finish. She gets the kill. Water Valley trailing by one, six to five. Later in the set, Water Valley trailing 23 22. I told you this was a close one. Kylie Bradley with the pinpoint accuracy. Sonora can't get to it. Set tied at 23, but Sonora takes it with authority. Skylar Harris drops in the kill, and the Broncos, this one goes the distance. They take it three sets to two sets. A lot of action right there. Next on Season Pass, we jump to the next level and recap the week that was for the Angelo State Rams and Bells. All hail the Presidential Portable Restroom. Air-conditioned spaces, TV sets, fireplaces, and AM FM stations. You have to have one when you don't need one if you expect to have one when you do. And it's better to have one and not need one than to need one and not have one. This is the nimble Chevy Trax. The versatile Chevy Equinox. The stylish, all-new Chevy Blazer and the roomy Chevy Traverse with seating for up to eight. The Chevy family of SUVs. No matter what you're looking for in an SUV, Chevy's got you covered. Get over $4,000 below MSRP on this Traverse. Plus, current competitive owners get an additional $2,000 cash allowance. Chevy drives Texas. Find new roads. Fall is fast approaching, and at Trend Furniture, it's time for the end-of-season clearance. During our end-of-season clearance, all the luxurious neutral tones of all the wonderful grays out right now, we have on sale between 30 and 50% off all gray tone sofas, plus select bedroom chests 30 to 50% off, and complete bedroom sets on closeout. So come take advantage of all these spectacular savings during our season-end clearance sale, all with 36 months no interest. Trend Furniture, across from Sunset Mall, 4002 Wellington. If I could lower your pants and put you in a new vehicle, well... I got this, Dolores. Oh. If I could get you in a new car and lower your payment, or at least keep it the same, would you do it? Well, why wouldn't you? Get a brand new 2020 Nissan Altima, just $2.99 per month. 
Or how about a new 2020 Nissan Rogue S? Just $3.95 per month. Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. Houston Heart, Northern Road. Or shop 24-7 at BassFunch.com. All hail the Presidential Portable Restroom. Air-conditioned spaces, TV sets, fireplaces, and AM FM stations. You have to have one when you don't need one if you expect to have one when you do. And it's better to have one and not need one than to need one and not have one. Hey, welcome back to Season Pass. I hope you're still awake. The Bells are off to a hot start in conference play. Angela State took the court Wednesday night to take on the 6-4 and four Lubbock Christian Lady Chaps, looking to improve to 3-0 and oh in conference play. The Janelle Center playing host to this one. ASU hosting Lubbock Christian. High fives all around an early volley in the first set. Haley Coulter keeps the play alive. Mackenzie Griffin gets it over the net. Lubbock Christian goes for another kill. Coulter keeps it alive again, and Mackenzie Griffin tries again and gets the kill. ASU trailing by one. They would take the first set. Second set now, Bells collect the serve. Lindsay Ledyard with a set, and Chloe Patton with the kill. Bells take a 20-16 to lead. They go on to win the set. Third set, Bells up 11-6. to they're, they're in front. Kaylin Gilbreth with a monster kill in, in between two lady chaps. No chance. Bells lead by six. Angela State going for the sweet match point. Haley Coulter knocks it down. ASU wins set number three, 25-21. They sweep the lady chaps. Angelo State taking on Western New Mexico on Saturday, coming off a sweep of UTPB that Friday. Second set, Mustang serving. Check out Megan Parker. She just tips it over the net. That gives ASU a 13-6 lead. Later in the set, Lindsay Ledyard sets up McKenzie Griffin, who slams it down for the kill. ASU up 19-10 in the second, and they would take it 25-12. Third set now, Bells down by one. Kaylin Gilbreth coming in hot. A monster kill that goes into the stands. One of 14 from, from her on the night. ASU ties the set at 10, and they would take it 25 to 21. They sweep the Mustangs 3 to 0. Some say that youth is inexperienced. Sometimes that may be the case. For the Angeles State soccer team, they're young, but they're winning. The Bells played two matches last week, starting with St. Mary's on Thursday to open Lone Star Conference play. The Bells ready to go at it at the ASU soccer fields, coming in at 4 and 1, no score early on. Avery McNeamy with a great pass to Allie Warren takes a shot that rolls into the right corner. That's in the back of the net. Goal, Angelo State 1 to 0, Bells in front. Second half, the cross. It's going to come in, and Valerie Solis lets it go. She fires it. Reagan Ur Ur Urbani connects with Trinity Scott, and she puts it in the bottom right corner. Two to zero, Bells on top. Things are looking good. Offense still going. ASU on the attack. Avery McNamee with the beauty of a goal, bending it into the top left corner. Let's take another look at it. Look at that curve on the strike. Three to zero, Bells out in front. The Bells gave up a late penalty, but they hang on to win their conference opener. Three to one, the final score. Angelo State then faced take Texas A&M International yesterday. The Bells versus the Dust Devils first half, seventh minute. And the Bells get on the scoreboard first. Emily Kewen sets up Allie Warren, who sneaks it past the goalkeeper. Warren scored a goal in Thursday's match like we just saw against St. Mary's. There she is again, ASU on top, 1-0. to zero. And there was a ton of scoring in this one. Jumping ahead to the 75th minute, game tied at two. Kaya Benham with the free kick. And Kylie Hampton puts Angelo State back on top. She finds the back of the net off the rebound. Bells lead three. To two, but the Dust Devils, they just wouldn't go away. 84th minute, Griselli Martinez. Watch the set piece and look at this goal. She finds the upper 90 and puts it through. That ties the game at three and forces overtime. Warren Hampton and Trinity Scott all notched goals, but the Bells draw the Dust Devils three to three after two overtimes. They improve to five, one and one on the season. I would say that today we showed uh, maybe some weaknesses, you know, uh, where maybe we're susceptible in that counterattack. Maybe it's because we're a little bit tired from Thursday's game, and so. Uh, but this is a hard-fought game, and it's a draw. I mean, at least we didn't lose. We need to fix our mentality sometimes. That that, that sometimes we're not we're not prepared, and if a team wants it more, this is what can happen. I don't care if we're playing the U.S. Women's National Team or if we're playing some four-year-old rec team. We have to play the same way. We can't play down to a team's level. We have to play up. We have to play our game. And it's just something that we're going to have to work on this season. 
Three weeks down and three checks in the win column. The Jeff Gersh era of Andrew State football is off to its best possible start. In fact, the Rams are off to their best start since 2015. They had a date with number 15 Midwestern State last night. The team Angelo State hasn't beaten since 2014. It was a beautiful night at LeGrand Stadium. The Rams taking on the nationally ranked Mustangs. And if you know anything about a Ram, they hit hard first quarter. And Payne Sullins connects with Austin Landry for the 21-yard touchdown. That caps a seven-play, 94-yard drive. Landry fighting his way in for six. The Rams, they hit hard, and they hit early. A couple possessions later, Sullins dials his own number and punches it in. A one-yard quarterback sneak puts ASU up 14-0. to Now would be the score at the half. Third quarter, and these two have a special connection. Sullins heaves it up to Kiki Chisholm. He goes up and over a defender and comes down with it. Let the people know, Kiki. The Rams, they lead 21-zip over number 15 uh, Midwestern State. The two would go on to connect again for another touchdown. Chisholm finished with six catches for 123 yards and two scores. The Rams down number 15 Midwestern State, 28-6 to the final. Angela State has a date with number four Tarleton State on Saturday. The Rams football team just on fire right now. They have a tough test this week against number four Tarleton. Coming up on Season Pass, we close the show with the Player of the Week. Stay with us. Sonic's got all my fair faves. Cheddar peppers, 99-cent corn dogs, Oreo a la mode. I love the fair. All the prizes you can win. Totally. Did you win all those? <laughs> Winnings for suckers. <laughs> I bought these. Hurry in. Fair faves start at 99 cents. And order ahead for happy hour anytime. The rule of three states. Things that come in threes are inherently more appealing. We couldn't agree more. Three SUVs, one GMC. Get nearly 6,100 below MSRP on this 2019 GMC Terrain Denali. Plus, get over 1,300 additional purchase allowance when you finance through GM Financial. Visit Mitchell Buick GMC in San Angelo. Sonic's got all my fair faves. Cheddar peppers, 99 cent corn dogs, Oreo a la mode. But there's no chicken on the fair faves menu, right? Uh, no. Why do you ask? No reason. You're safe. Hurry in. Fair faves start at 99 cents. And order ahead for happy hour anytime. Welcome back to C. Season pass. It's time now to announce our player of the week. And after shuffling through stats the last few days, here he is, Central quarterback Malachi Brown. He led a game-winning drive and scored with nine seconds left to put Central out in front, 45-38. They opened district with the win. Malachi Brown finished 27 of 40, 281 yards, three passing touchdowns. He also ran for three more scores. Congrats, Malachi Brown, your player of the week. Player of the week is sponsored by Southwest Pools and Spas. That pretty much wraps up the show. Thank you so much for joining me. You can check out all our content on ContraValleyHomepage.com. And you can also rewatch all those highlights on ContraValleyHomepage.com. Follow us on Twitter at KLSC Sports. We'll be right back here at the same time next week. Good night, Contra Valley. Sponsored by Kelly Grimsley Kia.